Uh, it's such a great opportunity to be able to come from China to uh, present our work about how we found that thermal dipogenesis play a role in regulating uh, neutrophil activation and regression. Uh, neutrophil uh, rapidly infiltrate the skin upon infection or dangerous signals, but excessive accumulation of neutrophil leads to activation of skin immunity, uh, and neutrophil uh, recruitment are considered a hallmark for the onset of psoriatic skin inflammation. Uh, in especially in general, uh, generalized uh, pasture psoriasis, uh, excessive neutrophil accumulation in the dermis is considered a primary uh, pathology mechanism. So our work uh, focuses on thermal fat. And uh, when I was a postdoc in the Richard, Richard Gallo's lab, uh, we found that thermal fat fight against uh, bacterial infection um, by producing antimicrobial peptide. And since then, uh, I, when I started my own independent lab in China five years ago, I continued to explore uh, the role of thermal fat, uh, how it's regulated during aging and diet induced obesity, and also its role in skin development and wound healing. And here we are interested in uh, the role of thermal fat in regulating skin immunity, uh, immune activation, particularly the neutrophil function. So by performing uh, the imicromal induced psoriasis mouse model, uh, we found that uh, the mice developed psoriatic skin inflammation up to day six. But then after day six, uh, from day six to 10, the mice developed a uh, tolerance to uh, the uh, inflammation. And neutrophil uh, recruitment also uh, started to regress after six days. And uh, by immunostaining, we focus on changes in thermal fat, and we found that during the inflammation progression phase, uh, FABP4 positive adipocytes are lost uh, up to day three, and this is accompanied by repopulation of the PDGFRA positive pre-adipocytes and LY6G positive neutrophil in the thermal fat. And then from day six to 10, uh, FABP4 adipocytes regenerate uh, with adipogenesis and neutrophil get re uh, regress uh, cleared from the uh, DWAT. So this result suggests that uh, pre adipocyte and adipocyte might play a differential role in controlling neutrophil uh, activation. So to determine the mechanism, we perform single organ seek of the uh, mouse skin and we uh, focus on the PDGFRA positive fibroblast, and we divide the fibroblast into a adipogenic and non-adipogenic group. And we identify a cluster of uh, pro-inflammatory pro-adipocytes uh, in the immigromaltreated skin. And uh, cell chat analysis found that this pro-adipocyte interact with neutrophil through uh, IL-1 receptor and 6L1 uh, receptor signaling pathway. And we perform uh, in-depth analysis, uh, both the in vivo study and in vitro uh, models uh, to study this interaction between pre and neutrophil. And we found that neutrophil uh, release IL-1 beta. This can activate pre through IL-1 receptor. Uh, and activated pre then secretes XL1, which then contributed to neutrophil uh, recruitment to the skin. Um, and then during the progression phase, uh, the inflammation resolution phase, we found that inhibition of adipogenesis by PPI gamma inhibitor, which is a, a PPI gamma is a, a key transcription factor for adipogenesis. We found that blockage of adipogenesis will prevent the formation of FABP4 positive adipocytes and then prevent neutrophil clearance from uh, the skin during the progression phase. And finally, to determine the human relevance of our mouse study, we analyzed a uh, published psoriasis single cell RNAC database, and we identify a class of a human pro-inflammatory pre-adipocyte that's highly similar to the mouse inflammatory pre-adipocyte we identified in our study. And this population uh, is also enriched with single modeling related to IL-1, and also enriched with adipogenesis inhibitors, uh, including WIND and TGA beta signaling. And finally, we uh, found that the lipogenic uh, signature of fibroblast in psoriasis negatively associated with uh, neutrophilic uh, information, especially in GPP. So uh, 
to conclude, uh, we found that during the information progression phase, we identified a, a pro-inflammatory prejudice that can interact with neutrophil through the uh, IL-1 and 6 cell signaling pathway. And this will contribute to neutrophil, uh, neutrophilic, the development of neutrophilic skin inflammation. Uh, but then interestingly, we found that prolonged activation of the pro can drive the depogenesis response, leading to the formation of new adipocytes, uh, which can secrete anti-inflammatory molecule to dampen neutrophil inflammation. This can contribute to inflammation resolution and restore of skin homeostasis. And dysregulation of the depogenesis might result in uh, uncontrolled neutrophil accumulation in the skin, as seen in uh, GPP. With that, I want to thank my team, especially my uh, PhD student, Sha Tian, who's the first author of this study. And thanks for your attention. Thank you.